It's the meat event, and I cannot wait to see how Tom Aspinall stacks up against Alexander Drago Volkov. And it's very fun to finally see Aspinall getting this opportunity, finally getting this main event, finally getting to see him potentially go five rounds, and finally just seeing a, a lot more from Tom Aspinall, because every time we see him, it seems like the fight is over before it begins. He's smoking dudes, whether it's with his strikes or with his vicious ground game as well. Tom Aspinall seems to be a guy that can get it done all over the place. And the fact that he's headlining this card when there are just a bunch of uh, fellow English fighters below him that are also of high level, uh, also of high popularity, i.e. Patty the Batty, to me showcases that the UFC is ready. I don't want to say to uh, hand the reins over to Tom Aspinall, but are ready to uh, elevate him to that next level because Drago Volkov is a guy with nearly 50 fights, plenty of professional experience, plenty of amazing wins, and most recently he took out our boy uh, Marcin Tibora, and that was a fight where Tibora was a sizable dog. You and I thought he would get that one done, but I hate to say that Volkov made it look easy, but he kind of did walk through our Polish brother in that one. And uh, he picked up that slick win over Overeem before that. Uh, and he got that win over Walt Harris as well. He did get smoked by Cyril Gaon though. And that was a fight where it seemed as though Volkov was kind of mystified on the feet. Didn't quite really know how to handle what Cyril Gaon was bringing towards him. And uh, I don't know. I wonder if Aspinall is going to be able to uh, confuse Volkov in a similar fashion. Because again, Aspinall has been smoking everyone. Smoked Jake Collier. Went through Arlovsky, who has won, I don't know, four or five fights in a row. I feel like Arlovsky keeps winning fights. And then most recently, he just smoked Sergei Spivak, a.k.a. the Polar Bear. And the Polar Bear was a meat lock for us a couple weeks back. So it's not like uh, Aspinall has been going through bums. I mean, there's even a nice win over Jake Collier, who, I don't know, Jake Collier is looking kind of good these days. So good stuff for Aspinall. We've seen good stuff from Volkov, too, historically. So... What are your thoughts on this heavy meat meat slinger? Are you rolling with Tom Aspinall or is Drago getting this done? Yeah, no, this is such a great test and a very nice levels test for uh, Tom Aspinall. But I truly think Tom Aspinall is the real deal. I think he is that Cyril gone competitor where maybe he could put Cyril a run for his money. Um, could be a future champion. He's very young. He's up and coming. He moves like a lightweight, but he is a heavyweight. This is a big dude, super explosive, a freak athlete. And just like how you said, you kind of hit it right on the button. I think it, the exact same scenario, what happened with Drago and Cyril Gaon is going to happen with Tom Aspinall. I think Tom Aspinall is a similar style, freak athleticism, crazy power, very quick. But I think Tom's even faster than Cyril. As technical, I don't know. Uh, as methodical and safe, I don't know. Cyril's a very good fighter. But from what I've seen, I think Tom has the tool set to get it done um, for this massive level steps. Because like you said, Volkov really only loses to absolute legends or very, very top, top fighters. Um, but yeah, I'm going with Aspinall. I'm, yeah, I'm predicting a KO uh, or a decision. Uh, a submission would be wild. I doubt it, but uh, I'm really feeling a KO and he's going to spark the world. Yeah, and you know, it's going to be something if he does for sure. Because, like, as you mentioned, the only losses that Volkov has in the UFC, it's that loss to Cyril Gaon, who's obviously Cyril Gaon is on a whole nother level. Uh, the loss to Curtis Blades, and Curtis Blades is probably the best wrestler in the division. And then that YOLO meat bomb last second knockout via Derek Lewis uh, in a fight that Volkov was dominating start to finish. I mean, uh, Derek Lewis really pulled a rabbit out of his hat in that one uh, with that last second sleeper so everything else beyond that has just been win and most of them have been by finish as well for Volkov so uh, hopeful to see uh, what this looks like against Tom Aspinall but I'm with you I think that Tom Aspinall gets this one done uh, I like Tom Aspinall a lot I think he's like he's got the right mentality uh, it seems as though like he is very self-aware. He, he knows what he does well. He knows uh, how to assess his opponents and has a great understanding of what they do well as well. And uh, I don't know. I tend to think that he's going to bring in the proper game plan uh, that will be enough to take out Drago in this one. So I'm with you 100%. Rolling with Tom. Looks like 73% of Tapology is with us as well. 27% is rolling with Drago. It's not going to be the most surprising thing to me if Drago gets this one done, but 
Uh, I think this is the great opportunity that Aspinall was looking for, and uh, I think he's going to capitalize on it in front of a hometown crowd, in front of an electric arena. And uh, I don't know. I think that Tom, I mean, we uh, our 2022 Prism Hopeful video from a couple months ago, Tom Aspinall was one of the faces, as was Patty the Batty. So these were two guys that even months ago and you know even before that, we've been pretty bullish on for a while. And uh, we think Tom can be a future champ. And this might be the opportunity to get him one step closer for sure. So I'm going Tom Aspinall. I'm going by finish. I kind of hope it goes the distance, though. I'd love to see Tom Aspinall in the fourth round. Like, what, is, what does Tom look like in the fourth? What does he look like in the fifth? Because he's, you know, ending fights very, very early. And I don't know. I'm interested to see what this look like, uh, what this will look like in the later stages. So I'm kind of hopeful it gets there personally. But if Tom Aspinall walks out there and simply sparks Drago with a one-punch sleeper, then that would be slick as well. So any last thoughts on this meet event? This one should be fireworks. Yeah, going to be fireworks. And yeah, I 100% agree. I actually do wish that it kind of goes to the fourth, fifth round, maybe even the whole thing, just to see how he is. Like, just like last weekend, we saw Alex Pereira. Dude's a savage. People are like, oh, he didn't knock him out. I saw a lot of people saying weird stuff, but it's like, Dude, I'm even more bullish on that guy getting to Izzy or at least getting to those top three guys after seeing he's tough, he's a killer, and all that. And I'm hoping the same scenario happens for Tom. Um, but I would see a KO is cool too. <laughs> yeah, totally there with you. Um, definitely let us know in the uh, comments, boys. You know, you going with Tommy Boy or you going with Drago? Throw in the comments. Uh, make sure to smash that meet and subscribe. And, uh, you.